cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Let's get cooking. Good morning, everybody. I have a really fun, kind of different recipe that I think you'll really enjoy. It's perfect for summer when the cherries are ripe for the picking up in Door County, or you pick up some cherries, fresh cherries at one of the farm markets, or even at the grocery store. Um, it's just a great way to use them and something you might not have thought of. I'm going to make a fresh cherry salsa. I think when people think of salsa, they think of, you know, tomatoes and, and, and peppers, jalapeno peppers and onions. Um, and yeah, that's, you know, probably the most popular salsa, but Salsa just means sauce, so uh, fruit salsas are very much still on trend. I do a mango salsa, I do a strawberry salsa that's great with uh, dipping for um, with cinnamon and sugar tortilla chips. But this is a new one. This is a fun one. It's a fresh cherry salsa that is great with chips as an hors d'oeuvre, but I love to serve it um, over grilled pork or grilled chicken, and it's so, so easy to throw together. So it starts with just some pitted cherries so that's the hard part is get yourself a pitter or use a bobby pin or whatever get those pits out of this cherries and then chop them up just a rough chop it doesn't have to be a real fine chop then i've got some fresh garlic and i just want to mince that up a little bit and this is one of those make ahead so if you're having a cookout and you're doing pork chops on the grill or chicken breast you can have this um, all made up ahead of time a good day or even two days in advance. And it's just a great way to dress up the food that's coming off the grill. Or as I said, it makes a fun summer appetizer. It's kind of got the sweet and the savory going on. So I just want to really chop up that garlic nice so we don't have big hunks of garlic in here. Now we've got a little bit of balsamic vinegar, a little bit of salt and pepper, So that's what I said. It's you know it's kind of got a little bit of the sweet from the cherries and the salt and the garlic. Uh, we're going to do some fresh herbs, fresh basil, and because there are so very few ingredients, it really is best to have fresh basil. And I'm just making ribbons of basil. It's going to look really pretty in here and really give that some great flavor. And then just for a little bit of heat, this is not going to be very spicy unless you want it to be, I've got some fresh jalapeno pepper and I'm going to do it without the seeds and the ribs and that's going to keep it very mild. But as if I said, if you want to, you know, if you can take the heat, go ahead and put the whole thing in. And then a little bit of olive oil if you want just to pull it all together. And you want to kind of let that sit and hang out in the fridge or if you're serving it right away, a good 30 minutes or so, just even on the counter to really let those flavors kind of marry and do their thing. Um, I mentioned serving this over grilled chicken or pork. It is fantastic with the Door County cherry pork tenderloins uh, they can get at Festival Foods. So that kind of carries that whole cherry flavor through. So just a uh, Grill up your pork tenderloin, let it rest before you slice it, and then spoon some of these, this wonderful salsa. Either have it on the side or spoon it right over the pork. It's really going to combine nicely with uh, the juices from the pork there. And there you go, maybe a little couple cherries for garnish. Cherry salsa. We'll put the recipe on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods.